Welcome back everyone, Cheryl Tan is here with a story that will show you the power of social media and what can happen when people work together. Ariane, this is truly an incredible story. When a group of singers takes to the stage in April, there will not be a dry eye in the house. It started out with a call for help on Facebook, then a Kickstarter fundraising campaign that pulled in $1,000 and now they will get a chance to shine while performing the Les Miserables School Edition. I found out how the community made all of this possible when I I asked, what's your problem? All right, can I have my men for a look down? My men's chorus. Practice makes perfect. How about we do the seven before again? Yeah. At least once a week, the cast <laughs> of the upcoming production of Les Mis at the Kempsville Theater in Virginia Beach pulls together to prepare. Look down, look down, don't look them in the eye. Look down, look down. You're here until you die. Being in the spotlight is an opportunity of a lifetime for the cast and for the audience. I cry every Friday. Brings tears to my eyes because they're out in um, society where they get rejected time and time again, or not necessarily rejected, but getting told you can't do that. Look at them now. Singers, some of them who have cerebral palsy, autism, or Down syndrome, are getting the chance to shine. There is a castle It's a cloud. Good. I need to go there in my say sleep. Good job, Kayla. Good a child job. like Kayla, who has cerebral palsy and autism, can take part. So these are our little toe bags. And it's that kind of show. <laughs> it touches you. It touches you personally to see her participate with everybody else, to, to have that inclusion, that means a lot to, to her and us as parents. Colin will be in the musical with my friend Rick Stanford. Um, he will be playing the bishop role, and Rick will be singing the role while Colin gets to wear the costume and be in a musical. And in how, what other opportunity would he have to be in a musical except for a, a situation like this? Colin's mother, opera singer Diana Swenson, created this community chorus with the help of two brothers, Eric and Ryan Sabata. And they've been doing two men shows, three men shows for years, and then they met me. <laughs> and we needed someone to kind of help us. So we said, who do we know besides my dad that can help us? And I said, and I said, I, maybe Diana. Social media helped fuel the cause. I put out on Facebook, is anybody interested in doing this musical? And at that point, friends, that some friends that I haven't seen since college, everybody just started pouring in the love. All right, number 14, do you hear the people sing? Les Mis will go on with a 35-plus member cast. When the beating of your heart echoes the beating of the drums, there is a life about to start when tomorrow comes. I think it's going to open some eyes and open some hearts. My dream was to get a group of people with disabilities in a show of people without disabilities for the true meaning of inclusion and to have them all come together for the love of music. It has been an empowering experience. When I was younger, there were always people that said, you know, you have autism, you have CP. How do you think you are gonna do on stage? You might as well just give up. It is the music for the people who when people tell me at rehearsals that they can't do something, I'm like, yes, you can. Please try it again. Parents say it is well worth the wait. <laughs> That's going to be an incredible production. It's giving me chills. Yeah, I was like, okay, yeah. dry eye here. Yeah, no. no, they <laughs> are amazing. And they've got two shows scheduled for April. One date has already completely sold oh, out. Yay. There are a few seats left for a performance on April 12th. Now, this group hopes to make this a yearly event. So they want to do this production every year. And they need a place to perform if that is the case. So if you can help, I'm going to link you to, for, to more information at thehamptonroadshow.com. And here's another web extra. Photojournalist Pat Dowd put together a special clip of the singers during their rehearsal. So oh, you can get neat. one entire song at the Hampton 
thereroadshow.com. I love that. A great one, as always. And the best advice at the end, and probably some of the best advice you'd yeah. hear around. Bring some tissues. I know. All right. Thanks, Cheryl, <laughs> so much.